Uh, hello, I'm Robert Fontecce, I come from Spain and I'm doing this video for assignment number 6 of Coursera's Introduction to Music Production. I'm gonna explain in reason how we can change or use the oscillator, the filter and the amplitude envelope in a synthesizer. Uh, first of all, this is really small, I put an image here, I hope it's a little bit easier to see here. And I'm gonna use this on-screen piano to make the sound so you can see when I'm clicking the note. So first of all, we have here the oscillators. Uh, here we can uh, choose which waveform we want. For example, the sine wave, we have lots of waves. One of the differences is we don't have noise. To have noise, we should come here to noise, click, and then either do it like this or like this. We're not gonna use noise now. Uh, another difference with what, we, uh, with what we saw in class is that I don't choose a frequency, I choose the octave and then the semi, like the little parts of the octave and so on. Yeah, that's kind of all. Uh, once we have the oscillator, we can go to the filter. Here we have all the filter types that we want notch, high pass 12, 1 pass 12, low pass 12, 24, with where this number is the a decibel per octave that we reduce after or before the cutoff frequency. With this fader I'm going to choose a uh, cutoff frequency. For example now we have our frequency around here, I'm checking it with a bandpass. And with this fader here I can choose the resonance, which is this kind of peak at the cutoff frequency. If I make it really loud, you hear this kind of distortion. So I'm going to leave it now like this, so it doesn't annoy. Here I can change the level of the whole mix. And finally we have here the amplitude envelope ADSR. I have now everything sustained, but of course we can change it exactly as what we saw in class. The attack, that is the time till the first 100% amplitude. You can see how I click, and it takes some time. DK that is from 100% uh, percent to the sus sustain level. The note, so it takes some time. Sustain is the level after the decay, which can be 100% or level I want, and release is how long the note stays there after I leave the key. For example, I'm going to leave it now. It stays there for a while. So that's kind of everything. Uh, this subtractor is really, really complete. It's a little bit different from what we saw in class, but the idea is the same. I really recommend it and yeah, that was the video, I hope you enjoyed it and if there's something I can improve or I said something wrong, uh, please write it in the comments. So thank you for your uh, watching and I hope you enjoyed it, bye!